How are we doing? How are we doing? Am I live? I never know. I think so! Yo, yo, yo. Guys, there's like... Over 30 of you already in here. I'm almost a minute late. You guys are on time. Ring the alarm. Justin started early with a prop. Oh, thank you, good sir. Thank you. Oh, my computer lagged for a second. Is it lagging for you? Guys, is it weird to see me from this side? Coming at you from a different angle in the studio today. Kinda, hey? Kind of a bad day, so hope you make this, that this makes it better. Uh, I guarantee. Grade A guarantee we're going to have a good time today, okay guys? We're painting um, a double sloth. We're painting either a rainbow one or a brown one, whatever you want, you decide. Um, I'm going to do both. Is it crazy? Hayden and McKenna are reporting for duty. Who else? Are we going to do a roll call? Who's all here? Let me in my like. I'm sweating for some reason. Oh, Tasty Tulip started early with the props too. We've got another Tay. My glasses are filthy. What am I doing? <laughs> Ready to paint this sloth. Oh, my family's here. Double whammy tonight, folks. That is right. <gasps> Who's painting with friends? Do we have some like Zoom party started? Mystified pair, hello. Let's see here. I might not wait the full 10 minutes this time, guys. I might deceive you. I don't think that painting the two will take up too much time because there's a lot of times where I'm just waiting and I feel like I'll just paint on the other one while I wait, right? I think that will work. BFF and I painted from our respective homes. Perfect, you guys. It's important that everybody is still social distancing, okay? Okay. I have like a third of my wine left. Your heart is so pumped for this as well as your daughter. You guys, sloths are quite a popular um, animal. I got a lot of messages that people are really excited about the sloth. Um, you feel like you're looking in a mirror. <laughs> I know, hey? Eh? I know it's weird, hey? Um, I thought though, the reason why I changed up the angle and it's hilarious that I didn't think of this from the start because I'm right-handed, you guys, so why wouldn't I put the camera so that you can see what I'm doing? You guys were over there and my hand was blocking what I was doing all the time. I don't, that was my mistake, that was my mistake. Yeah, I can wait a couple more minutes, don't worry, not on the, yeah, see? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I should have done it for you guys. I set you up for failure from the start, so my apologies on that one. Um, but now you'll be able to see, so it'll be good. Um, someone's gonna try the rainbow one, perfect. I'm glad you guys want to try the rainbows. I tossed that in there because that's how I paint all colorful and stuff. And I haven't really, I don't know for sure if I can lock down how to teach it. So I thought, let's do both. We'll see how it goes. Um, my PSA from the start, the uh, sloth here at the bottom, that is my original work. It's a painting I did uh, last year. The one on the top is not mine though. Uh, someone just sent me a screenshot of that little guy. He was actually holding a cupcake in the picture. Um, I wasn't able to find the original artist yet, but as always, if I do, I'll put them in the comments. Um, I like their sloth better, to be honest. Uh, so we are kind of gonna mold the bottom one to the top one. If you don't have yellow, can you replace it with light green? <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Combo of the two. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna also show you, oh, wait, 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 I forgot I got a mouse. Um, look what I made up for you. That's the shapes of a sloth, you guys. It's gonna be easy, it's just like circles. We just do like one big circle with a little circle inside and then a little circle on the inside. Jessica Bunny, I know you haven't been around for the last couple of times, but shapes are very important in our process. <laughs> And every painting we do, there are shapes, okay? I promise. Um, what else can we talk about before I start? Everybody, you gotta trust the process, okay? A lot of your paintings are gonna look weird and crazy in the middle, and you might hate it, and you wanna give up because you think it sucks, but it doesn't suck. Jessica Bunny at the bottom here will remind you that she usually doesn't like her painting to the last five minutes. So be ready for that, okay? Stick through with us, hold it out. Um, what else we got? 
Make sure that you ask questions during the show. Exactly, Justin's helping me out there. I might be going fast. I might have not explained something well. That's the best part of the live. You are here. You've got me in front of you. You can ask any questions. Justin, we're here to help is right because Justin's my little assistant at the bottom there. <laughs> he helps me out if I miss a comment. Um, my accent. Do you guys think I have an accent? <laughs> um... Can you do oil pastels? Of course, of course you can. Um, and know that if you have a question or you're stumped or you think you did something wrong, somebody else out there might have the same problem and you might be helping someone else too. So ask away. Um, for people watching the YouTube video, you can always message me. I'm always, I should be accessible at most times. Um, I will read the questions out loud at the bottom so that you guys can see. Um, what else we got? Uh, if you would like to start with a pencil, some people like to do that. The shapes, the original, the initial shapes that I start with, um, I do it with a paintbrush. But if you rather do it with a pencil, go for it. Just don't press too hard. When you press really hard, your graphite leaves a little dust and it'll mix in your paint and you'll get pissed. Okay? The girls are here. Let's do it. Are we like ready? I think so. Okay, I'm going to make that little sloth a little bit smaller, okay? We're gonna put him down here for now. Meet me. Or maybe just like at the bottom. What? Does he go there? Let's just put him there for now. Okay. Everybody take a breath. I'm gonna start with the brown one first, but the process is literally exactly the same for both. I'm just gonna be using different colors, okay? So, everybody, either take out your paintbrushes. Or your pencil. We're getting fired up, just like Justin said. I'm using a little baby paintbrush, okay? Yeah, whenever Justin puts the alarm, I think of, bring the alarm, I've been through this too long. You know that? Well, that in the bottom you can do. A uh, thank you, Madge, a uh, thank you. Okay, we are gonna take out a brown to do our little slothy. And if we, also, yeah, hi Madge. Um, and if you don't have a brown, you can add like a little touch of black to orange. You can mix blue with orange with a touch of black. Um, let me know if you guys need help with that. I'm just gonna get brown for you guys who really wanna know the colors. I'm using burnt umber. You're here just in time. Yeah, I st well, it's basically 10 after eight. So I didn't, uh, I didn't start too, too early. I thought I was gonna start right away, but. Cheers everybody for your snacks, with your snacks and your drinks and your juice or whatever you're going for. Let's paint some fun sloths, okay? You have burnt number two. Perfect, it's a great brown. Okay, so do you guys have your little paintbrushes? Cheers with the sour beer, excellent. Little baby paintbrushes. And you are gonna keep dipping. Oh, but the sloth covers my paint. Uh, I'll just scooch him just to touch him there. He'll go there for now. Um, okay, you are gonna bring a bunch of water into your palette. You can see I'm doing that by just like scooping water with my paintbrush. If you are going to start rainbow, I would choose a lighter color. So if you maybe like a light orange. Can you put a piece of white paper under your paint? <laughs> yeah, that's probably smart. Give me a second here. <laughs> I'm just mixing paint on other paint. <laughs> there we go. How's that, guys? Look at Justin with the assist. Okay, beauty. Okay, see how I am mixing? And it's funny because this is brown, so it basically looks like chocolate milk. But we are gonna be mixing our water in with a little bit of pigment, a little bit of brown paint, or a little bit of orange, or whatever color you've decided with your rainbow. We're gonna make this like watery chocolate milky concoction down here because we don't want the paint to be thick at all. We just want it to be very light, um, dry very light, and uh, you guys drink this here. So that, I don't want you guys to see my camera. Let me put the thing at the bottom there. Um, very light so that we can paint over top of it. We are just laying out shapes, all right? 
Okay? We're ready? Take a breath, everybody. Painting's fun, okay? We are just gonna draw a circle literally in the middle. Like, oh look, and look how wonky my circle is. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep going around until I fix it. Right in the middle, boom. And I dribble a little bit. I'm just gonna get my like towel or paper towel or whatever you're using as a rag just to wipe that away. I could probably even make this bigger actually. Okay, we've got a circle. Boom. I'm gonna bring it close because like, look, there's like hardly any pigment in there at all. It's literally just water. And I wouldn't suggest wiping away unless you are using canvas, okay? Boom. We got a brown circle for one sloth. And then what did I say? Orange, let's do orange for the other one. You do the same, make your milky concoction. Chocolate milky consistency. If people at home have watercolor pencil crayons, that's another good thing to do this with. And see, like my original pass of my circle is wonky, guys. It's totally fine. It's hard to just draw a perfect circle. So I just get my paintbrush wet and I just keep spinning it until I feel like it looks, um, what you call it? Like a circle. All right. Yeah, yeah, you can. Like I was saying before, pencil's totally fine to use. I would just totally suggest not pushing too hard because it gets that little dusty graphite. Oh no, I didn't start my time lapse. Um, it gets that dusty graphite and it'll literally mix in with your colors um, and they'll get a little muddy and gray and that's just uh, not a fun time for anyone. But if that does happen, it's not the end of the world. You can do a little layer, um, a light layer of paint and then let it dry and that will lock in your graphite and then you can paint on top of it, okay? We've got circles going, we're happy. We are going to, in the middle of our big circle, we're gonna draw another circle, okay? So let's just make another circle inside that circle. Remember, it's really light, we're gonna be coloring right over it. Let me know if me flipping these back and forth is actually a nuisance and if I should just paint one. You guys let me know. I may be just wilding out and it might be too hard to do two at once, but you let me know. And someone was saying about the music. Thank you. I finally took some time to curate a couple um, copyright royalty free, I mean, songs. So they're actually all thanks to YouTube. Shout out YouTube. Got a couple circles. I feel like, like I don't want to stress you out, but I also feel like this is this is a bit easier, right? Are we still going? Okay. Guess what? This line's easy. We're just gonna go. And again, if I forget, like, to say a color for the brown one or for the rainbow one. Please uh, holler at me. Don't let me forget. There you go. What's funny is like in my normal practice, I usually paint like this all the time. I call it assembly line painting um, because I don't like to waste paint. So if I mix a color, I will paint that color and use that color on every single canvas I can that I have started, every painting I have started until that color is gone and done and then I'll mix another color and then I'll do a bunch of paintings with that color at the same time. And uh, that's how I crush out a bunch of paintings a month. Okay. Ah, just stretch for a second there. Okay, and then we're gonna draw his little arm right now and we're gonna go over the lines that we already drew, but that's totally okay. 
All right. Just do a half curve. We're going to do a line all the way up and curve it down the bottom. Because you have these like funny big like mitt paws with like long nails and I think they're hilarious. Tay Warhol factory over here. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I would like to formally thank you for the shapes drawing. It makes it a snap. Hey guys, this is, so I don't have um, much, I wouldn't say, I don't have much formal training um, when it comes to painting. I guess like I took a couple classes when I was really young and then I did like art school in high school. But when I went to art college, it wasn't like learning technique. It was more learning like color theory and composition and other stuff. Um, but that's one thing that I know for sure that when they teach you how to draw, I mean, yeah, when they teach you how to draw, shapes is the start. Breaking the things into shapes will make anything easier. And like the more you do these paint nights, the more you like break things into shape and see how to learn how to see in shape, if that makes sense. Then everything you look at, you'll be like, I can draw that. That's a triangle and a square. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then his little claws. Or literally, we're just gonna draw some lines out going, they're basically long triangles, right? Because of my illustration background? Yay, that's true, that's very true. I'm always like, what, what do you mean you guys don't see in shapes? Like, it's hard for me to imagine <laughs> how other people see. Okay, we got some pointer. Oh, the, his claws are a little crazy. That's okay. Okay, uh, what else are we doing here? We're gonna paint some eyeballs. Okay, so this little circle is gonna be like the light part of his face, whether you're doing rainbow, whether we're doing brown, slothy. Um, so we're gonna go inside this little circle and we're gonna draw his eyeballs. One circle and another circle. And again, remember that I've explained it in other paint nights, but I know everyone's new all the time. Um, you could do this by painting that whole shape, like the whole thing dark brown and then doing these shapes on top and on top. But I'm not, not everybody's quality of paint can do that. Not everyone's quality of paint has the capability of putting another color on top of it um, well. So that's why I teach them this way in these classes so that nobody um, gets stumped later on. But if you at home or if you wanna do one again, you can always draw the initial shape, paint it, wait for it to dry, then draw the shapes on top if you would like. I personally always draw like this, but paint like this. Uh, I like to paint in shapes and in sections, but just saying, there's other options if you need. Okay, so the funny thing about sloths, oh, I didn't put his eyes over there, but the funny thing about sloths is that their eyes are so like far to the side and like so close to their nose. So when we're doing this circle for his nose, I'm just gonna draw these in here. Always be conscious of where you're putting the nose, okay? So think of where his little eyes are. The top of the nose should probably be aligned with the bottom of his eyeballs. We're just painting like a cutie little snowman right now. This one in the back, scary. <laughs> okay. Got a little bit of some for everybody in this playlist today. Oh my gosh, Justin, sharing the broadcast. A thank you, good sir. And for the prop. I'm just out here. Doing a little army of snowman sloth. 100% sloths. Okay. So, where are we at now? We're going to give him his little raccoony dark lines, okay? So we drew his eyeballs. They're gonna come up and just encompass them. Whoop. 
in like a teardrop. Just follow the shape of the eyeball really close to it, but not touching. You can touch it if you want, but that makes sense. Look, mine's really messy right now. You can fix a lot of things other times. You can make it a full egg if that's like easier for you to visualize. Some people might like a little bean, that might be better. Look at this little gaffer. Okay, let's do a little bean around his eye. And remember, we're still using that watery, liquidy concoction, or we're still using our pence crayons or pencils or whatever you started with. We're still doing that. But if it's really watery, it'll your brush will be able to move nicely. When it's dry, it has a hard time pulling on the canvas or paper or whatever you're using. Okay. I truthfully think that we can start just like painting some colors on. Okay, how am I gonna teach these? How am I gonna teach these? I probably should have thought a bit more <laughs> before we're doing it live. Okay, so we are as brown sloths, we're gonna be taking out brown. We're just gonna be using the same brown that we were using before. As orange sloths, we are going to bring out blue, okay? So just for you guys to know like visually or understand what I'm doing when I do the rainbow ones, I use the cool colors, which are blue, uh, green, purple, that type of stuff. Um, I use those for the darker spots of the sloth. So like the dark parts of his eyes for the shadows, those will be cool colors. And then the bright colors or the lighter colors are gonna be like yellows, oranges, reds, warm colors, okay? So well, you know how I always start dark to light? That's what we always like to do here. Um, we are gonna be starting with our darker colors. So that's why I said bring blue out uh, for your colorful sloth. But since the brown people, we will just use brown, dark brown, it'll be the darkest color. Um, Cause that's how that works, right? And Justin's right, like that's color theory. Like these are things that we learned in art school. Cool colors appear far away to the eye and warm colors appear closer. Okay. We're gonna be taking out a bigger paintbrush. Again, I don't know what everybody has at home, but we were using a little one to outline, but now we are using a uh, medium to big one to start sloshing around some dark colors, okay? So remember, you guys who are doing rainbow, um, don't worry, the forehead bump's coming, I promise. Your sister-in-law just texted that she's doing King Panda on YouTube right now, her first day night. Guys, I'm loving how many people are using the YouTube channels, it's, or YouTube videos, I love it. Okay, so we are either using dark brown or we're using blue, but we're doing the exact same thing, right? Okay? So exactly, someone pointed out that forehead bump. So you are just gonna come right to the center of your little slothy, okay? And you're just gonna make a line. That's how it's gonna start. We're not using the watered down paint. We are going to go with just dip your paintbrush into the water and then mix it around a little bit in just the thick paint right out of the tube. Okay. Not dry, but not as wet as we were doing before. You made that one little line and now we are gonna start brushing hair strokes. Does that make sense what I'm doing here? Around the edge. Okay, so we made a line and we're going directionally outwards because we're painting his little hairs out from the middle. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So again, if we're starting on this side, and so he has like a heart head, right? So that line is the lowest that the hair goes. And then you just kind of curve it with his little hair swipes. And it's okay if these are messy because we're gonna be painting over this a lot. But always remember to be conscious of where you place your brush strokes and in the direction that you put them in because we're literally painting his fur. So the way that you draw it makes it look like the fluff that we're already trying to paint anyway, right? And we are just gonna go 
right? So some people did blue right there. And we're coming around his little chin. And down on this side too. I'm curious, how many rainbows or how many browns are we doing out there? You are gone. Okay, good thing I have this drawing right here. You draw these shapes at the bottom. Wow, everybody's doing brown. Well, I know that there's a couple rainbow. I know that Hayden. Hayden, are you doing a rainbow? Margo, are you doing a rainbow? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys, we're there's a nice split down the middle. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so people using brown, you can continue going the entire way. People using color, we can't, but that's totally okay. You are still gonna be doing blue in this spot. Brown people, we're still doing brown in here. I love, I'm saying brown people. That's Maybe I shouldn't say it like that. People using brown, whatever, we will put it on there. Fill in his little eye holes, okay? And brown, you can fill it other than his middle face, keep filling them out. One rainbow, one brown. Brown, but I'm gonna slap some rainbow on it. Heck, yeah. Okay, and now blue, we're doing the same. So we do that line. Remember now, this is the beauty. Oh, wow, I took out the wrong blue. That's fine. Um, I think this is kind of the nice thing about me doing the two is if you kind of miss that first step, now you can watch me do it again. So we're just fanning that cutie blue hair. Outwards. Yeah, people doing two at home is crazy too. We're just, we're gonna have so many sloths at the end of this. Okay. There's this cute face. We're gonna blue in those uh, eye sockets. And again, remember, if your paintbrush isn't pulling nicely, you feel like it's getting caught and it's kind of looking sandpapery, add some more water to your brush. Brush, I mean, water is your friend. If your orange is still wet, like mine is right there, it'll probably mix up and look a little muddy. So ignore that spot. I would wait for it to be dry. But again, from and so I can show people, huh? See here how it looks a little like sandpapery, how that one stroke didn't fill the whole page. That's what I mean by dry. That means that there wasn't enough water on my brush. But then if I fill it up with some more water, I can go over that spot again. Where else did I do the blue? Okay. And people with brown, I didn't do it on that guy, but still you can fill in this little nose hole with brown. Rainbow, we're filling it with blue. Blue sucks. <laughs> this tube isn't working nice today. Okay, do okay. So you rainbow people keep putting that blue on there, but our next color is going to be green. And all of us brown folks, let's keep doing brown. We're still just using the darkest brown that we have and we're filling up our whole guy with strokes like this. I'm just running out of paint left, right, and center today. We're... I remember how Justin was talking about how warm colors appear closer and cool colors appear farther. So that's why on the rainbow one, he's gonna have the nice yellow and orangey paw or green. It's okay if you have light green, that's a little bit better than dark green. Um, <clears throat> and that'll appear closer because it's in front of his face, right? And bring his little fur down. Remember guys, white is our friend. It's really, I keep saying everything's our friend, but white's very important in all the paintings that we do. How is everyone doing? Are we all going okay? 
you know that if you send me pictures in my stories, I'm going to share it with everybody. Um, and it's kind of nice then everybody knows where everyone else is at. I'm just going to do a couple swipes of brown on here as well. That's the one hard thing with rainbow to brown is that brown's just a singular one color while rainbow has a bunch of colors to fill in those spaces. You're definitely not an artist. What you saying? Is this your first time? I'm taking out green, you guys. Second, hey. <laughs> it's your second time painting. Obviously, it's not gonna come very naturally to you, but that doesn't mean that you're not an artist. Okay. So brown, you guys are still filling out the sloth. But for us rainbow folks, we're taking out our green, right? And we're doing the same thing. Same, just a couple of dips of water on our brush. We don't want the paint to be too watery. And now you're gonna go right above that layer of blue that you did. It's okay if the blue's a little bit wet, not the end of the world. And you are gonna come down, kind of surround the blue that we did before. Go in about the same direction, keep doing the same. Pull the hair, little hairs in the same direction as you were doing before. Be conscious of your brush strokes. Whoop, whoop. Okay. How's that? You can do a couple little green swipes in his paw if you want. Okay. Now I'll let you color rainbow folks go with that. We've already basically got some sloths, guys. They look like, this one kind of looks like a parrot at the moment, but with its colors, but. Yeah? Are we feeling okay? <laughs> like Shaggy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My brown's even like, I may have had too much water in some of these spots. I'm just gonna darken them up a little bit. So for some of you who haven't done the paint nights before, just to kind of explain what we're doing here. So I do dark first, and then we're gonna mix a little bit of water in it. Um, wait, I forgot to say hi, Spengali. <laughs> uh, and then we'll be, I mean, Wow, guys, let me just pull back. We're gonna mix a little bit of white in it, and then you're gonna add it on top, and it adds lots of depth to your little slothy. And on the colored one, we kind of do the same thing, but we show value with color instead of value. That doesn't really probably make sense to a lot of people. Okay, so, looks like you after quarantine. Hey, <laughs> you're beautiful. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rainbow people, I'm sure you're still doing a little bit of that green, so you keep doing you, no stress there. Um, you're gonna be taking out yellow next. For us brown sloths, you are gonna take out some white, okay? We're taking out white to mix with our brown. The same brown that you've been using, whether you had to mix your brown, whether you actually aren't using brown, you're using something else instead, no big deal, okay? Oh, a painted rose. Oh, thanks for the rose. Okay. Adding brown to right. So you're right, actually. Uh, uh, I would actually add touches of white to your brown in this situation. I won't lie. Because usually you're right, Justin. But because we want to. Still using the same size brush. Okay, so, because you want to uh, be considerate of the color that you are working with already. So grab a big old glob of white on your paintbrush. 
We are gonna go into the brown that you were doing, using underneath uh, a base coat. And again, rainbow people, you will be using yellow at this stage and you don't have to mix white into it. You're just going straight yellow, all right? Same brush. We've got this nice lighter brown. It's totally okay if it's a little bit darker than you think because again, we're gonna put more white on top. Your favorite white girl, just talking about white paint over here too. Look at that, perfect timing, John Wick. Okay, we're gonna go inside this little slothy. It's a little dark still. Remember that your paint will dry darker um, than it looks on your palette, okay? So many weeks with Tay and you get a drip down his little face. <laughs> You can get a towel or you can keep the drip. You can rock the drip too if you want. So we are with this lighter brown doing the same thing. Remember to be conscious. You're going from down to up, fanning out, bringing this lighter color into his cutie little face, right? And at the bottom, you're still following the same shape. Rainbow people, let's leave a hole right here. If I start painting tigers, you'll join, hey? I can't say that a tiger won't be on the dock at one time. I can't say that. Okay, so. How's that? I'm just filling in his face. I'm leaving that line so that rainbow doesn't get confused. Remember, you can still use the same brush. I'm also actually running out of yellow. Oh my God, Carol Baskin. <laughs> Don't get me started on Carol Baskin. <laughs> uh, you never noticed my tattoo on your forearm. Oh yeah, I can see, look, you guys are on the wrong side. So it's my paintbrush. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yellow, we're doing the same thing. You're just fanning. Fan, fan, fan. All right. That's passion right there. <laughs> hey, a lot of, my whole life is dedicated to my painting, for sure. It's my paint. <laughs> Okay, how's that little kitty? Can we take a moment to appreciate her painting two things at once? <laughs> hey, there's some other people painting two things at once out there too. I'm not the only one. Okay guys, you're painting some yellow on your cutie arm. Again, it's really brush strokey. It's really okay if it's not pretty. <laughs> guys, you're just pumping my tires over there. And you're gonna give some yellow swipes over here too. And you know what's funny? Everyone doing the brown sloths, you're gonna do these too. I'm putting a dollar in the cutie jar. <laughs> yeah, we should start a cutie jar. I will say it all day. Your rainbow sloth looks like a shih tzu. <laughs> Hey, that's okay. I feel like that's that's normal. They are kind of shih tzu-y a little bit, aren't they? Okay, guys, we are putting some of the pumps faster. <laughs> We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put some of those lighter swipes of brown. There's a cutie jar. <laughs> so last time somebody pointed out that I say cutie a lot, <laughs> that it's my favorite word. Everything I was just calling cutie. And uh, so now I said, maybe we should have a cutie jar, like a swear jar. How many times have I said cutie? I already know there's gonna be a lot of cutie sloths. <laughs> Okay, and here I will put a lot of 
couple swipes of lighter brown at the top of this guy's head. If doing two is confusing, guys, please let me know, okay? I'll try to break it down a little different. But it's okay if this is dark, because we're going to be going even lighter on his face, okay? We're just uh, going a bit darker before. What's happening? I'm, I'm sorry, Tay-Tay. If you're late, I can't really circle back too much. You'll have to wait for the video, because she's the bomb. Hey, thanks, John Wick. So, one... This is going to be confusing, but... If we filled in his whole forehead, is that okay? Yes, if you, yes. So the main reason why I left that a little bit white is because we're gonna add orange in that spot on the rainbow one. But if you, even as a rainbow person, filled it in here with yellow, totally okay because orange goes over yellow just fine. Yeah, you can fill that in though. But the reason why I did two is because the polls weren't like super split. There was more votes for rainbow than sloth, but for the people that actually come, <laughs> cause there's not as many people here that vote. And for the people that come regularly, a lot of people wanted the brown one. So I didn't want to stress, uh, I didn't want to make that decision for those people. So I want people who come all the time to do what they like too. So I thought I'd do both. Can I replace orange with red? You can put yellow in your, you don't have yellow. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. We're doing a slash, uh, are we stressed? Whoa, are we stressed? You guys tell me if we're stressed. Rainbow folks, if you colored in this middle part of his mouth, it's totally okay, but we're gonna actually put some green there. Slothy folks, color her in. Yours looks weird. I'm sure it doesn't look that weird. They're really messy and like brush strokey and stuff right now. So I think they all probably look weird. It's so early. What did I say at the start, you guys? Trust the process. <laughs> Gonna have to catch up later. Got behind on another call. No stress. Looks like a Wookiee. That he basically is a Wookiee. Oh, I'm sad that you got caught on the call. The YouTube video will be up. Don't worry. Um, I always put them up the same night. I'm just catching up here to us rainbow folks. This really just reminds me of like a what is like a toucan, a toucan Sam at the moment. This is a weird song. Um, I love how you guys are all yelling trust the process in there. Especially your rainbow ones. If you guys are trying rainbow for the first time, this is a weird process that nobody else, that you've probably never tried before. So it for sure is going to look weird at the start. But here, ooh, my orange looks really crappy on here. I feel like I should have gone rainbow. <laughs> no regrets, guys. No regrets, okay? Uh, let's go a couple more orange swipes in there. Boop, boop, boop. And sorry, you guys, don't hate me for forgetting this part, rainbow folks. Not brown sloth folks, rainbow sloth folks. His little mouth is green, okay? Yeah, John Wick, you're right. No regrets is right. <laughs> take that, take my own advice. There we go. There's some green in there. Does that look hilariously cute already? Like he's just smiling? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, 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 folks. Should we splatter a little bit before we go to some black colors? Do we have any questions at this stage? I'm hating this. The colors aren't showing up as nice on the screen as he looks now. He looks a little washed out on there. He is super cute, I promise. Can always do the opposite one on YouTube later. 100% Stacy's right. It takes me like an hour or two to get it on YouTube. It's like it takes a while to download a video to YouTube. So 
Um, we're talking splatter. For someone to willingly give their time, share such talent. <sighs> guys, I enjoy it too. I like hanging out with all you guys too. I've been getting so many messages, people asking me if I get paid for this. I don't get paid. I just enjoy it. Okay. We're splattering, folks. But a few little prop treats. That's just, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, just because I'm too modest. Michelle and Justin are right. I do accept tips. <laughs> um, these little props at the bottom, those little emoji looking things that people are posting, those are called props. And I can collect those and cash those out for real money at some point. And a lot of people, I wake up and you guys just e-transfer me money. It's crazy. <laughs> it's the cutest. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. It's not nece necessary, but it's obviously, obviously appreciated. Two days a week, I get to paint with my new besties on caffeine. Uh, heck yeah, I forgot to comment on your post that you tagged me in today. Super cutie. Once quarantine's done, we aren't going to forget paint nights, okay? All right. We're splattering, folks. So, you can explore. You guys play around. Splattering is fun, okay? It's just to it's just to play. It's the best part. It's like a therapeutic part of painting. So you can play around. Use a big, big paintbrush if you want. Use a little paintbrush if you want. Use a um toothbrush, an old toothbrush if you want. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thanks for the little uni. Y'all keep it up. I'll drop him on a potato. <laughs> You'll drop a potato? Oh my gosh, what a crazy day that will be. Okay, you're going to make a chocolate milky consistency paint of whatever. Look, you guys all dropping these props. Guys, thanks. Um... On the cutie sloth, you can, like on the brown sloth, if you want to do a fun color, do a fun color. Um, if you want to do just brown, then we can do just brown. Like decide whatever you want. On the rainbow, I would suggest orange for, to start. Some orange splatter, some red splatter, whatever you wish. And a happy Thursday to you, Tender Bear. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. I am. Good to see you, actually. Oh my gosh! John Wick! You just gave me a potato! You guys don't understand? That's the craziest prop that I could ever receive! I'm forever in your debt. <laughs> Aw, thanks! Holy crap! And you're not even painting along with me. You gotta try- I have to teach you some painting or something. How do I return the favor? <laughs> Okay, you guys. Rainbow potato to match the slothy, 100%. And another. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I'm like speechless. <laughs> wow. So, fun. That, so, I lied before when I said I don't get paid, you guys. I got paid. <laughs> Today, I got paid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't even told you what I'm doing. Okay. It's just take a minute back <laughs> you're gonna make your chocolate milky concoction but you're gonna add a little bit more water than you usually do oh my gosh you guys um and you're gonna mix your paintbrush in there to get every bristle wet all right and you're gonna tap it a couple times to get some access off and you're gonna literally flick i'm using brown on him but you're gonna literally just flick your canvas Tony was right, I saw someone say, hide your wine. Yes, hide, you probably should hide your drinks. You could put some splatter down if you wish. Yeah, Dresden and John Wick, that was just, you were so nice. <laughs> um, you can do any color you want on the rainbow one. I would suggest like an orange or something to start. Look at that, isn't that fun? If you want a colored background, okay, yes, that's a good, thank you, I always forget that. If you guys want a colored background, like a solid colored painted background, now is the time to do it. And then you can splatter at the end and it's okay because you'll know how to splatter. 
Um, but I would suggest now is a good time to fill in your background with a color. Because if you splatter and then you're going to cover over it, that's not fun. Um, the rainbow ones will be a little crazy. Like, I, it will be hard to suggest a, <clears throat> a background color for the rainbow ones. Uh, I would suggest just having, like, crazy splatter on the rainbow one. But, yeah, a solid color on the sloth might be super cute. Oh, well, Valerie, thanks for the ice cream cone. Okay, I'll show you guys how to do it with a toothbrush on this one with the orange. Just some light rock on the jams today. When you use a toothbrush, you kind of want your consistency to be water more watery than you do with a brush with a paintbrush. Ooh, dip those fries in the ice cream. Oh, that's like at Wendy's. You put your fries in the frosty. Okay. It's basically exactly the same with a uh, toothbrush, but you just dip it. And you shoot it like a gun. Ding, ding, ding. And you can see with a paintbrush, you I mean, with a toothbrush, you can kind of like direct it a little bit better. Right, right? Or you can go in with your paintbrush and just flick it as usual. Boop. Oh, I just got it all over my PC. Hello, hello, what up with you? Oh, we're just painting some sloths as a group. Okay. Um, any questions at this point? Should I go see what other people's sloths are looking like? Is it time for that? Yes, everybody wants to see everyone's sloths. Okay, I'm gonna get that guy out of here. Okay, Valerie, I'm just gonna say right away, your sloth does not look bad at all from what I see here. Um, let's see. Where am I starting? Okay, guys. Oh, oh, that's just your story, so I can't see there. What do we got? Oh, we just got your little drawing at the bottom there. Where do we have? Where's the other ones I saw? Why am I missing them? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that little fluffy guy. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so cute already. <laughs> So cute. Oh, disappearing message. Oh my gosh, cutie. We've got two at this family. Oh, nice. Oh, a pink one. Just a full pink with a green background. I like it. Julia pushing it. Her creativity. The tropical sloth was awesome. I agree. Look at that one. Oh my god, you guys are literally killing it already. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Oh, it's a disappearing message. We just got the llama. If you send it and keep in message. Oh, that's a good one too. With the red. He does look a little crazy, but that's okay. Once we get some eyeballs in there, it is fine. Ooh, there's a lot of rainbow ones out there. I'm into it. I'm into it. Oh, so cute. Sangali, you do have to pay next time. Wow, guys, into it. Amazing. Okay. So how's your splatter parties going? Wow, didn't expect that many rainbow. I know, yeah, because when I asked at first, it seemed like there were only going to be brown ones, but I know there's a lot of people that don't, like, they're not on caffeine, so they can't comment. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we are going to get out... How do I teach this next part? Easy. We're going to get out black, okay? And remember, don't take out too much paint at a time. Always take out little bits onto your palette. Um... And uh, take out more if you need it because it's easier, obviously, to add more than take. 
I mean, it's easier to take more out than you can't put it back in your tubes, and it's easy to waste paint like that. Uh, let's see. Just, and black is powerful. You don't need much of it at all. Just a tiny little taste. Not into it. <laughs> oh, I don't know why my little foot isn't working. Do we need black for the rainbow? So this is tough so you can with the rainbow you can use black if you'd like or you can use like a tiny touch of black in your blue it might be probably a little bit nicer to put just a touch of black into your blue so we don't have it like too harsh um how about i do that i'll do that okay so everyone using brown Use just pure black. Everybody who is using rainbow, just put a touch of black into the blue that you're using. And I mean a touch like the tiniest touch ever because it'll overpower your blue. So that's why you add the black to your blue, just tiny touches at a time. And you should get like a, like a oh, this is probably just gonna look black to you guys. Can you see that's kind of like navy? Hi, Duxy. Okay. Oh, my back's broken. Okay, so you are literally just going to paint a circle in your circle. It's going to be in the top. See that circle in the circle? Remember, if you're doing red, if you're doing brown, do just pure black in there. And he's gonna look hilariously cross-eyed. Okay, you're using a good amount of paint on your brush. Again, a little bit of water so that'll move nicely, but we're not doing like that chocolate milky consistency. We want lots of paint on our brush right now. And same in here, we're going just black. I still can't believe you guys sent me two potatoes today. That just blows my mind. Oh, hello, bueno! Have you been here the whole time? Or did you just get here? Okay, do a little black circle. in the top corners of your other circles. And it's okay if the whites are a little weird, you can paint white over top of that at some point too. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for the cookie. Have you guys seen that little video of a little baby that goes cookie? Have you guys seen that? <laughs> Am I just the only one? <laughs> Your spirit animal. I support creators, especially those willing to teach their craft. Dressed in dark. You're just the nicest. How are these cute little guys doing? Okay, and remember, we're doing the same thing. If you are use rainbow, use your dark navy-ish blue. We're gonna put little nostrils. You in that nose. Those are kind of big. You can probably make them a little smaller than that if you want. <laughs> he looks nuts right now. You guys thought your things looked crazy before. They're looking crazier now, are they not? Okay, let's get some little nostrils in there. Oops, I made those pure black, but same thing. Now she's staring at you. <laughs> Welcome to my life painting portraits. Billie Eilish stared at me for the last two months. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, dokay. Let 
me just see if this is what I have for right now. Okay, yeah, so we are, I probably should have got you to do that in the first place, but. So now that full circle that we did, you are gonna outline the whole thing. So do you see how we outlined it? Now there's just a little half moon. We're just kind of solidifying their eyeballs. I'm using the same, just a little brush. I don't think I told you guys. Like a jerk, I forgot to tell you. When you're circling, if you feel like you uh, painted over that white spot or you feel like you messed up and you feel like it's not the right shape, who cares? We're going to put some white over top of it. We can fix it. Not a big deal. Okay. Can I explain that again for the rainbow? So are we talking about the circle? Which part? Yeah, so you know how we drew that little circle inside of the big circle that we already did? You're just gonna trace that big circle again because before it was traced in a light color because we were just laying it out. But now you're gonna be circling it in that same dark bluey black concoction we've been using. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So, who are we saying? Ilo, Ilo, Ilo. Hello, hello. Okay. So this is where it's gonna start to get a little bit different for brown sloths to the rainbow sloths. Rainbow sloths. We are gonna be using pure white. That's a poop. <laughs> hey, welcome back. <laughs> Okay, for the rainbow sloths, we're going to just be using a couple swipes of pure white. But for everyone doing brown sloths, we're going to be going back into this color here that we use, that nice little brown that we've mixed. Um, and we're going to add more white to it. We want to make it another value lighter. Maybe value or two lighter. Like... Light, light, like tan. This almost looks white to you guys, probably. I'm using a medium-sized brush. I am just going to come back into his little face, and I'm swiping up again. Rainbow folks, I'd wait a second. I'll show you guys how we're doing that. But we're just lightening up his face. When we're using this lighter color, this is when you can kind of like reshape things. Um, you are going to cup it. I like how you use your hand to help show color. I don't want people to ask me. What do you mean use my hand to help show color? What do you mean by that? Oh, like this. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I don't know if it helps sometimes. I feel like my camera is so off. Colored. Okay. So we're gonna cup his cutie. Yeah, sorry, John, that I didn't understand what you were saying. Okay, and then you're just gonna kind of curve that little dark hole where his mouth's gonna go. You can even leave it out a little bit. But this is where all this layering is kind of nice, right, guys? So it shows that little bit of color underneath. How's that? No, this isn't pure white. We're, we went right back into this dark brown and we added a little bit more white into it. Remember how we made this a little bit lighter at the bottom there? And so now you're just doing a value lighter than that, okay? And again, you can just add swipes. Like I just add little brush strokes of this lighter color in some little spots of his little hairs. 
How's that? He looks very creepy at the moment. I'm aware. <laughs> okay. So you guys do that. I will show rainbow folks. You are going in with just pure white. And we're doing it very similar to what we did over there. But we don't want to fill the whole space, okay? We just want to do a couple little swipes. In his white spot, do we see here? Just a couple white. We're not gonna fill up the whole, oops. We're not gonna fill up the whole space like we did on the brown one because we already are showing some depth with the yellow and the orange. So you're just gonna make a couple white swipes of hair in roughly the same area that we did on the brown one. See that? And same as I did on the other guy, add some little swipies of white all throughout him. Okay, I'm gonna go show love to my friend streamers. Well, John Wick, always great, always great to have you here. I appreciate all the support. More for that cutie jar dressed, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, John Wick. Thank you, Justin. Oh, wow, I just, oops. See, my color was not dry, so I just splooged a bunch of another color in there. The rain guy is a cutie, hey? Okay, you guys keep doing that. You can swipe some in there, too. Okay. Before I go, you have not defeated me yet, Dresden. <laughs> okay, everybody on the brown slothy. We are taking our brown out again. If you ran out of your just pure brown or mix more brown, whatever, whatever. Okay. And we're going to do what we did on the rainbow one with a touch of black into your darkest brown. Okay. I'm using the same old medium brush. This is just for the brown slothy. Bye for now, see you. Thanks again, John Wick. And we are just gonna cover in, just in case we're losing these little cute rainbow, or not rainbow, raccoon slots. We're gonna color those in with not pure black. We're using a touch of black in the brown. The thing that's nice for the rainbow slots is that the blue is such a definite uh, darker color. So that is okay. Remember, black can be very overpowering, so don't put too much black in your brown. Painted rose, thank you. You've been dropping so many props today. Okay, and this is gonna feel a little weird, but we're just gonna make a brown this is still this dark brown that we were using before, and you're gonna circle his nose with it, okay? You see that? It almost looks lighter in there, that's weird. Can I put both of these on top of each other? Can I do this somehow? Come on, come on, come on. Um. Ah? Okay, okay, okay. I have a lot of packing tape, but oh, that baby's almost close. Ha-ha! Okay, this is easier. Okay, let's do that. Let's just do that instead. Okay. So, at this point, are we? how are we all feeling? Are we doing okay? Are we... What's up? Oh. Okay, is that... Is that... Is that long? Is that eye long? I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, rainbow folks. I'm taking out a pink if you want. Red and white, that's cool. Ilam! Ilam, Ilam, that's cool. Don't give away my secrets. <laughs> okay, I'm still leaving you guys on the dark sloth. Um, for you in the rainbow sloth, I'm taking out some pink. You can take out red, you can take out red and white. I'm using a little brush. And we're kind of like, that's the thing about the rainbow one. It's hard for me to teach it because it's pretty just random. Okay? It's just layers of color, you know? Okay. So you're just going to paint some pink or red in the spots where the orange ends. Okay. You see how I'm like consciously going in kind of the similar spots, like the orange is here, so I'm putting some pink up here. And I'm using more, like a little bit of water on my brush, not too much. And the same in his little paw, you can add some swipes of pink in there. Okay. Do you guys want me to like paint a solid background? Would that help? Should I paint a solid background on one of them at this stage? Here, if this is how, like, my suggestion of when you paint something, a solid background, I suggest that you cover with a thin line, you go as close as you can to your little guy around the edges. Okay. And then you can take a bigger paintbrush. And it's a little bit easier to go a little bit more crazy. You just come up to that line. Does that make sense? How much longer? Hard to say. It usually doesn't, um, I don't, it's usually just two hours in total. I'm usually done by 10, but I got no promises. just paint. Again, don't feel like you have to do this. I just realized that a lot of people just paint their backgrounds and I've never showed you guys how to paint them if you want. Ah, super cute. Twins. Oh my gosh, I just punched him in the face with pink. Realistically, mostly of what we have left is obviously some more splatter because that's always a good time. Um... But we kind of just have some darker outlines and some white highlights just to kind of finish him off. Like he needs a mouth and he needs um, some highlights in his eyeballs. And then he's basically, oh, I'm painting this one too. And then he's basically complete. Okay. There we go. That's a cool background. Again, you can be conscious of your brush strokes if you want, or you don't have to. You can just go wild. I'm going to leave the rainbow with no background because I think the splatter is more fun on that one. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? We're taking out a little skinny paintbrush and it's Cassie's favorite time of the show as when I show you guys pressure points on your brush because it's very important to outline and I think it's uh, something that not a, a lot of people know at home. So when doing outline with a paintbrush, you use a little guy, of course, uh, with a nice pointy tip. Um, and you want your mixture to be watery, but not as watery as our chocolate milky concoction, okay? But you do want water on your brush. It helps it pull, okay? Uh, ooh, how am I gonna do it on this side? Um, I don't know how, okay, it has to be like this, okay. So, with this paintbrush, if you see, can you see it if I do that? Okay, if I press very lightly, I'm using just the tip of the paintbrush. Do you guys see that? Ooh, I did that really terribly, but you'll get the point. <laughs> um, but if you push on your paintbrush the full way, you will use the entire paintbrush. Oh my gosh, look at my skinny line. 
I did a bad job, but imagine up there I did this. Okay, so when you press very lightly, you use only the tip of the paintbrush and you can do very light lines. So using not much pressure, you go very lightly on your brush. But if you want to fill a very long space, use this. I mean, if you want to use a very <laughs> thick line, you press your paintbrush all the way. What do you mean the other way? Hold it the other way. Like this? I don't know, we're just... Did that make sense, guys, or was that just the worst class of all time? Max Brown coming in with a Poot Uni. Hey, Max Brown, it's been so long. Hey, Max Brown. Okay, guys. We've got this black on our paintbrush. For you guys on these cuties, you're using blue with a touch of black, right? And his smile, sometimes it helps if you start both sides of his mouth. So you decide where you want to start and end. Oh, just cover where the sloth is. No, I know, but I want you to see the angle. That's the problem. Like, to see with just the tip and to see the edge. So I feel like it has to be like right here, right? Or am I just like not understanding it properly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you start that cutie mouth. Just put his two little smile lines on. And then you're literally just going to go down. And, oh my gosh, head up. <laughs> I can't paint it. Um, go down and uh, he's just a little bit. <laughs> His smile is just a little quirky today. <laughs> well, that was a struggle. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so on this cutie, he's a little smirk and sloth, 100%. Remember, it's kind of easier to put the two lines of where you want his mouth to start and end, right? And then by not pressing very hard on your brush, right? We just talked about pressure. You want to do it very lightly. And you're going to just curve down and come back up. And you're going to want water on your brush. If it's not pulling well, that was my mistake over there. If you don't have... Oh my god, I said cutie again. <laughs> Thanks, Tanya. Right to the cutie jar she goes. <laughs> okay, is that how's that mouth, you guys? Did I teach that terribly or what? And then you can even thicken up his bottom line to make it like it's open. Huh? I was literally about to say it again. Whenever I go, uh -huh, it just feels right to go. That word that I won't say right now. Okay. How's that? They're so much cuter than the examples. Uh, I, they are so much cuter. <laughs> yeah, the bottom one's actually not cute. I feel like the bottom one's kind of scary. Oh wait, the bottom one's over here. I feel like he's kind of scary. Sorry guys. I painted that scary guy. Okay. I'm gonna bring in some white outline or some white highlights here, and then it's getting pretty close-ish to the end, and then we can start talking about other details and such like that. Cutie levels are rising. <laughs> they are. Okay, everybody, get your little thin paintbrushes out. It can be even thinner if you want. It's totally like I think about Rosie all the time. She always paints on such cute little small ones, but like you can use little little if you want, like that small, whatever you want. But we are going to, oh wow, you guys, my watch just wrote, it just listened to everything that I just said um, and wrote it all down there. That's nice. Okay, we're getting pure white out. The John Cena paintbrush is so small. <laughs> Okay, guys, you're going to go into that dark circle that we painted as little pupil. And you're just going to give a little boop. Like, look how much cuter he already is. <laughs> With just this weird little white dot. And then on this side, you are going to go on the left-hand side and make that dot in there. Like, are we kidding? How cute is this little munchkin already? Thank <laughs> you. 
We are going to just give him a little white spot. And you rainbow folks, you do this too. We're doing exactly the same thing right now. Look at that nice little white outline on the top of his little snout. Not outline, it's just like a dot. Are they voguing? <laughs> they could be. They're all just like, so cute. <laughs> Okay, here, I'll come back on this little cutie, too. Let's do a little white spot right there. Wha-bam! And another one. Adorable factor times a thousand. Okay? I don't want to see you so hot today. Okay. Oh, right, and then there's a little dot on his nose. Dot, line, whatever you want. And then this is gonna feel weird, but maybe I'll see if I can do it closer. So you see how, remember we drew these big ovals for his little snouts, his little nostrils? We're just gonna paint a white. The bottom chunk of it is just gonna have a little white line. We're just gonna trace the bottom of the outline with a white line. Same over here. You can even just do a little smudge. She's so cute. <laughs> See you guys, look, we're in the last like five minutes-ish and they're coming together, are they not? Okay. The white on the nose did it. <laughs> I think it's the little white spots in their eyeballs that does it for me. You can do a little white line under his little mouth if you want. Some of you get mad when I put the white lines. Someone says it makes them look, look like they have milk mustaches. Then don't do it if you don't want to, that's fine. And you can swipe a couple white lines throughout them too, okay? Some little highlight lines. Same with this guy. And then some little white tufts. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> I'm obsessed with them. They are way cuter than the examples. Okay, one thing that I am just, this is because I'm noticing that it's happening on mine. So maybe this is happening to other people. So if you feel like their eyes are blending into these dark circles that we made, like if it's too dark, you think, you can go back if you don't have that color anymore. We haven't filled in the claws. Well, the claws are, that's a true, you're right. Look, we can just, the claws are white. So you basically just need to outline them in a darker color. Um, I would say blue if you are doing uh, the rainbow, if we are doing the brown sloth, literally just with that black brown color you're using with black if you want. They are just white, so as long as you just color it a little bit. But as I was saying about the eyeball up there, you just kind of got to mix that black brown concoction with a touch more white in it, and you can add that into here just to kind of show some definition around his eyeball if you want like if you think it's if you mix the black brown uh raccoon spot too dark um you can add in a little bit of lighter brown in there you can add a little bit of lighter brown under his eyeball if you want to okay So again, rainbow folks, we're talking about the nails. I'm just gonna take blue and uh, outline that shape. You can toss some white in there if you want. 
Oh, I made his nails a little crazy. Wow. Okay, maybe I'm gonna, should we start looking at some people's while and we'll see. Sometimes it helps when we look at everyone else's if what else I need to talk about before we finish her up. Why? Oh, it's because this guy's in the way now. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so cute. Okay, uh, let me get them out here. Look at these little cute guys. Ah. We've got, I like how everyone's double handling. Tay, I literally can't handle the cuteness. I'm dying. You guys, yay. <laughs> We're all happy with our baby sloths. Look at how they're coming along. Oh my gosh, so cute. This little guy just needs a little mouth. I like to use neon orange in that one. That's fun. Oh my gosh, nice background. Oh my god. Um, Hutchins, don't I don't believe you. They're so fuzzy, I know. They're so cute. Look, it's so cute! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm seeing in a lot of them. Oh my god, they're so fuzzy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look how happy that one is. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're asking the question that I was just going to bring up for everyone else. Um, the outline of the hand. So, yes, I would suggest that. Seeing in most. See you next Thursday, Jessica. I'm so glad you liked it. So I would take for, um, if you are the brown sloth, I'd take your dark brown out again, or your brown and black, and just kind of outline that shape so that you can kind of see where his hand goes, right? And same with this one, but with blue. Ah, oh, thanks for the props, Max Brown. They are cute, aren't they? Um, see you next Thursday. A Putin Uni. You guys, I should we do the Putin Uni on here one day? Like a live streamed paint Putin Uni? I know I went to Caffeine and did one to for you guys, but should I do one for everybody else? That'd be fun. Yeah, for some of you guys who don't know, I was I flew on down to San Jose back when traveling was cool. And um, I had they had me down at the headquarters and I did a uh, Putin Uni paint night for every all the employees it was awesome yeah justin was very good at you guys we didn't know if justin could draw but he could and he did i said you surprised us i thought that was nice okay so we are basically done you guys i can um let me know if there's more like do we need more touch-ups are things not looking right on some of yours like this is a very loose style, and I feel like I didn't really fully explain it the greatest. Um, so if you have questions, please let me know. I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna splatter some stuff while we're just hanging out for now, because why not, right? I'm gonna take some blue. So I know there's a lot of you out there that I love when you send me them and they're just splatter filled, and you can tell that you guys just went on your own splatter fun journey. Uh, and I love that. I literally just got one in my eye. How do you suggest creating even more dimension in his or her face? Okay, so you are doing a, you're doing a brown one, right? So since it was, I did do it quite simple today, I would suggest... literally going in again on another layer of um, a lighter brown. Hello Shoto, you're coming here at the end. So you would take more white to your brown, so it's like almost, you don't want it to be pure white, but get in there, lighter than that one. And you would do just like in this one spot, we'll do a little bit lighter. You are very late, but that's okay. I'll be posting it on YouTube. You can still paint a cutie sloth. 
All right, so you put a little bit, you would add more value changes. So we put a little bit more lighter there. You can put a touch under his little chin. Oh, Joe, <laughs> Kaiser, are they not? Look at them both. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh man, guys, I, I can't find a new word. That's just, I, I can't help it. And I'm still with the Akasi on <laughs> Say it, just say it. Um, it's all about value. Value will be high. Oh, hello, Princess Daya. Um, so the way that you would add more depth is to find the shadows and push them back more. So like, look, like we can add some more dark underneath his little chin. You can add a little bit more dark on the bottom side of his hand. Oops. I'll put it in the jar. <laughs> Who? You? That little cutie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just a way for me to scam you guys out of all your props. I'm just like, eh, cutie. But actually, it's hard for me not to say it. It is my main word. I think folks on making the area under his mouth more rounded is helping you. Okay, so like this area right here. You could even value it a little bit more. Like give it, like if you look at the one over here. Oh, sorry, where am I pointing? Uh, here. It is darker under his chin. A little bit. Guys, like you can splatter white around the dark, the brown sloth, like that might be cute. Our sloths are for sure voguing. I think that's hilarious. All right, what else, guys? I'm I'm here. I'm here for questions. For people on YouTube, they might have their questions. I felt like this one went fast. Like it's only nine thirty. <laughs> I'm sure the kitties are happy because I always keep you up so late. Is it Margo or McKenna? I can't remember who's with you, Hayden. Cassie doesn't want it to end. Hey, that's okay. I, I don't have to tune out anytime now. We can keep picking away at these little cuties if you want. We can get some green in there. Remember I taught you guys how to do like splotches instead of splatter the other day? Where did my green go? You're adding drips, there you go. Oh yeah, Cassie, you're the one who's like two hours ahead of us, crazy. <laughs> We've got some people adding drips. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my little splotches. You wanna hold your palette flat or canvas flat. And you wanna make a concoction. Sorry, what I'm doing down here. I'm making a watery concoction. The chocolate milk again, that's just my go-to. And your paintbrush is gonna form a bead. You see there's a bead of paint forming at the bottom of it? And that's what you're gonna let go to uh, make big splotches like that, you see? But I have to hold it flat now while it dries. That's the only problem doing this, is that I can't put it up because it'll start doing the drips like Tanya and uh, Julia are doing right now. Also guys, change, your, change out your paint water if it's getting gross, like mine right now is pretty muddy. But if you're curious why your paints feel muddy and the color's not as fresh, it's probably because your paint water is gross. It's 
common occurrence. Okay. Let's just leave him over here for now. You lay there. Oh, you guys can still kind of see him. I know this is just like housekeeping time for a bunch of you. We're all just kind of tweaking it up. So I'm just going to keep playing around here while you guys do that. Okay, let me see. I'm going to add, uh, there's some questions in my stories or in my Instagram here. I'm just going to get some white out quick. Just painted myself over here. Oh god, making a mess, guys. Doing it from this side was hard. Did was my did changing the angle help? I guess right. Holding my hand on this side made more sense, right? So good. Okay, good. <laughs> and then you guys can see my like favorite plants over there. My crazy long cactus. Anyway. Come on back. Okay. I'm just gonna do some white splatter on, oh, and it just turned brown because I didn't listen to what I just said about changing my water. And then I'll go back and we'll look on Instagram and see what else we got going on in there. Okay, splatter time. Oh, my lanta. I just splattered his whole face. <laughs> Let's just uh, fix him up there. Okay guys, let's go through my inbox a little bit and see what we got. Oh my god, oh, did I, oh, what did I just do? Are you guys still there? Okay, good, I thought I just ruined everything. Okay, let's check her out. What do we got? Okay, check out this little cutie. Oh, Tanya, thanks for the little steppers. What do we got? Oh my gosh, look at that one. Hmm, okay, so maybe you're right. Maybe I would bring, we were talking about the red around his face. Maybe bring like, oh, you can't see my, my you can't see my mouse. Um, bring this lighter color like the white or the light green more over his eyebrows. Like shape this a little bit more over the red. Does that make sense, Shay? I hope you're still here. But just bringing, like just because now the white spot on yours is just a circle over top of his eyebrows, bring it out to show like the, the eyebrow shapey, if that makes sense. You're just not happy with the claws? Okay, just, I would white, Put white right over top of some of the lines that you made to like readjust them. They're not bad. I just think that you probably just don't like that the bottom one's a different shape than the other ones. Oh, yours doesn't look like a dog. Yours looks like Chewbacca. And I, it's a very great fan art of Chewbacca, if you ask me. Okay, I see a question here. What should Julia add? Oh my gosh, that little pink one is so cute. I don't, like, when you, are you asking, like, color? Like, what color should she add as splatter? Or does she need to do more, you're asking? I would just think that she might need to add a little bit more white on some of his face. I hate that you guys can't see my mouse. Um, a little bit more white on his face just to bring it out from the pink a little bit more. Is that most of them? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we did see those cuties. Oh my gosh, so good. Let's see if we have, 
I think that's all the ones I got right now, unless my DMs are being weird again. Oh, yes, they were. Yeah, I just missed all your messages. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Alyssa killing it. Sorry, guys, I'm not keeping your anonymity. Is that how you say it? Okay, loving these ones too. Oh my god, I think his face looks so cute. Okay, why would you think his face looks funny? Um, I literally think he's so cute. I don't know what you like. Uh, maybe, maybe because the little line on his forehead is just a line. Maybe try to make it a triangle. Like, make it, like, come out a little bit more instead of just a line. Does that make sense? Maybe, like, curve these a little bit. But I think he's so cute. I don't really know. Adam thought that one was yours. Oh, wait. Let me find yours. Oh, my gosh. Adorable. So we both love him. <laughs> um, hey, that's fair. Look, some people are doing um, splatter outside. I respect that. I respect that. Killing it. You gave yours a cutie manicure. <laughs> hey, look, she said cutie. It wasn't me. <laughs> um, obsessed. Love it. Ah, yours, right? Yours did look a lot like the other one. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that's my friend talking about not sloths. Who else are we missing? Oh my God, you guys, there's just so many cute ones today. Yeah, love it. Oh, Titi said she was behind, like you were late, but look, you caught up perfect. What else am I missing? Oh, this was for, oh, I didn't see you earlier, but they're coming along at that stage. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So cute. Are you happier than now? I think he's cute. Yeah, see, I think that helps too. That's awesome. Okay guys, well, there's a lot of cutie. <laughs> and I said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> there's a lot of cutie sloths today. Okay, these are just gonna drip, I'm over holding it. But remember my little trick of catching drips? You can with a wet paint, dry paintbrush. Actually, it's better when it's wet, but that's okay. You can catch your drips. I showed yours. I was just showing you how cute. Here, I can show it again. I was saying, you, it looks so much like that other girl's, you missed it. <laughs> okay, let me see. Where did you go? Oh, no, and I, there's some more that were sent in too, so here. Like, so cute. Oh my gosh. Ooh, check that one. Look at that. He's got that nice chest fur. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, he's so cute too. What did you say there? I saw you saying figuring out something. Figuring out his nail situation. Oh, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I didn't really teach the nails very well. How's that, guys? Are we content? Are we happy with our little slothies? I am personally so pumped on them both. Where are we going here? Yeah. Me and my friends. <laughs> thanks for the some thumbs up. Thanks for the props. Everybody, thanks for the props today. You guys showered me in love. That was amazing. Can I do this again? What did I do? <laughs> did I do it long enough? 
<laughs> Screenshot Justin, it's funny. And it's actually hilarious because I have to be conscious now too of uh, my thumbnails for my YouTube videos because I didn't think about it before and I'm a very flaily person so it's very hard for me to like get a good one shot so I have to like wash the end a couple times so that I can get a good one so maybe that'll be mine too. <laughs> Ah, Bubsy, making it at the end. That's okay. At least you showed up at all. That's beautiful. We love your attendance either way. Tom, Julia's pumped that she chose pink. No problem. I'm pumped she chose pink too. A pink sloth is a cute sloth. They're finished. Yeah, look how funny and cute they are. I think they're hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed painting rainbow styled like me in the original Tay way. Um, that's the best way I can describe it, is be conscious. Oh, thanks, Bubsy. You came at the end and you sent me a prop anyway. Both to you and Justin. Um, that's the best thing to remember when you're painting in rainbow, is to use cool colors as the dark shadow spaces, and for warm colors to be lighter. Um, the lighter, more closer. Things. Colors. Uh, does that make sense? <laughs> You got bombarded with props tonight. Yeah, it. I did. And you are to thank for that as well. You guys, just paying my bills. <laughs> Another successful evening. I love it. Uh, there are so many cute sloths today. I'm very excited. You're the best, Lisa. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> um, We are painting... Ooh, that's a good call, Justin. Um, that is something that we even are taught in school too. Um, if you're confused when I say look for the darks and lights, when you squint at something, that usually helps you determine dark and light values. When you squint, it really like the dark shapes will really pop out. So that's a good tip, Justin. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, Max Brown. Thanks, Valerie. Um, I decided Tuesday we're painting a Frenchie, okay? French Bulldogs Tuesday. Um, just a cute little face. We can do rainbow or not. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we'll paint a giraffe on Thursday, okay? French Bulldog and a giraffe next week. And then I'll bring in some plants after. You love your little guy? That is exciting. I'm glad you like him. I like them too. They're fun, hey? They're a little bit easier this time. Like, it's not even 10 yet. And we've been done for a while. Aw, oh, Daryl's sneaking in at the end too. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, so we're gonna do, what did I say? Frenchie giraffe next week. What about Tyrannosaurus? Yes, you're right. When, so should we do plants and Tyrannosaurus? Tomorrow, you and your dance friends are painting the flamingo. Nice, Julia. Aw, thanks for bringing all your dance friends to that. The flamingo was one of my favorites. I'm just gonna need to get some yellow paint for the giraffe. Oh, yes, Shay. I don't know how we're gonna uh, beat around the bush for that one. <laughs> uh, God can Sarah, thanks for another great night. No problem. Thank you for the props. I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Again, send me a line anytime if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, any requests. Um, I'm working on it, promise. Hey, no problem. You, If you want, you can have any colored ring giraffe you want. No worries there. A Shiba one of these days. Ooh, that would be cute too. They're pretty easy dogs. I like that, Justin. If you had fun, drop a one in the chat. Ooh, request might hold you to it one day. Hey. If you want me to paint Carol Baskin, I'll do it. <laughs> Aw, thanks guys for the hundreds and the ones. I do it for you. I'm a painter for the people. <laughs> now is what my shameless uh, promotion. Oh, no problem, Donna Ray. You too. Uh, my shameless promotion part of the evening. Give me a follow, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Watch my stories if you want to know what an artist does day to day. Um, hit me up on YouTube. One day I'll have more than just, uh, 
paint nights on YouTube. I'm trying to get some vlogs and stuff going. I just always have a million things on the go. Story of my life. Anyone out there want to help me with that? If there's any video people out there, holler at your girl. Um, other than that, see you guys Tuesday. Remember? Every Tuesday, 8 p.m. I should have a, paint, a wash me paint. Do you, are you guys interested in that? Do you guys want just a wash me paint? Because we can easily do that. I do paint every day. Well, I didn't know if people would want to, but I can do that easily. Studio Hangs with Tay. They were what was on the docket earlier. I did start streaming with Studio Hangs. Pain Chill. Wash me paint Wednesdays. Damn, coming in hot with the branding. I like that. Watch me paint Wednesdays. There we go. Next week, I'll sneak one in there. That's a good idea. Good job. Good idea, Ashlyn. Just looking at me? Oh, that's doable. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, you guys can see me paint other stuff. Like what I actually paint. Like portraits. Like right now. Here, let me see if I can turn you. Stealing his job. I, uh, I'm currently painting. Will you go? Will you make it? Will you make it? I'm currently painting Kobe. Another Kobe. I know, guys, it's crazy. It's my last one, but there's another Kobe up there. I'm painting a football piece. Yeah, you can always catch me on Instagram. That is also true. I'm always there. Beautiful room. Thank you. If you guys want to spin around, it's dark over there. I'll show you. I can do on the Wash Me Paint Wednesdays, I'll do a studio tour maybe. Um, I need Dan to assist me on that because I'll need him to carry the laptop or something for me. <laughs> but other than that, I think that's it. That's all. Um, thanks again for everyone who tuned in, everyone who votes, everyone who supports me in all those ways. Whether you send me e-transfers or props or just your attendance or just you telling people to come watch my paint nights, I love it. All you guys watching on YouTube, you warm my soul when I get just little surprise paintings of like a bumblebee or whatever. I love that. Send me them anytime. Uh, yeah. Paint nights with Tay every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. See you there. Hey guys. <laughs>